Watching experienced designers reworking designs and providing feedback behind their decisions is one of the best ways of developing your own skills faster. Today I have prepared for you an example of web app design done by a novice UX and UI designer with the intention of improving it. We will be dealing with a web app dashboard dedicated to banking experience. Let's start from high level stuff. In my last video, I have explained how to approach colors in interface design. Here we can clearly see visual cast generated by improper and unbalanced color palette. In my red design, I followed the 60-30-10 rule of applying colors, which led to significant improvement in terms of visual hierarchy. Apart from colors, you can also see that the content cards aren't consistent in terms of style. Alignment and size of elements are different between cards, and also there is too much empty space left unattended. This leads to further decline of hierarchy and affects perception of the interface in a negative way. Because of that, my next steps included unification of content card style and arrangement of unnecessary empty spots. Let me split the view so we can focus on details better. Next, I focused my attention on main navigation. As you can see, the distances between menu items are not even and alignment of them is also off. Apart from that, the active tab font is bigger than the other ones. It's not necessarily a bad thing to highlight the active state this way, but typically, as well as in this case, it increases visual chaos further. Apart from the alignment issues, we also have problems with color contrast regarding inactive tabs, which affects accessibility. Again, I refer to my previous video regarding colors, where I covered this in more details. Go and watch it after this one if you're interested. After fixes to the alignment and contrast, I also adjusted service logo size and weight so that it fits better with my other changes. After the main navigation, I focused on this big black thing, which says something about accounts and cards, and yet you can probably agree with me that it has barely anything to do with any of them. Since I think I understood the intent, I populated this area with depictions of actual cards and accounts that someone may have within a web app like this. I followed the color palette and applied a unified style for content cards. Similar thing applies to the cards under the big black something. I think I understood the intent of them representing stacks, maybe. Anyway, I also assumed that those two cards would be populated by the stacks from the user's portfolio with quick actions associated with them. I also assumed that the user would be able to adjust dashboard contents in the settings. As I said on several occasions already in my past videos, I understand that this design was intended as a presentation of skills. But whenever you do a work like this, it's always a good idea to try to make it believable. Try to imagine the context of usage and how it may work like in real life. This will help you populate your designs with realistic content and they won't look fake. From smaller details, especially if you are not operating with US dollars, some currencies have their own rules of how numbers should be represented. In this case, there shouldn't be any space between the dollar sign and the value, as well as commas and the dots should be represented as in my design. Let's switch to the next part of the designs. Again, I followed the unification of content card style, as well as alignment of elements inside them. Apart from that, I also adjusted the colors and sizes of elements. As you can see on the design on the left, we have quite a lot of unnecessary white space. Those changes allowed me to introduce two more elements on the basic view of the list, as well as a summary of monthly transactions at the bottom, which makes this part much more useful for potential users. I also introduced this fine gradient to indicate scrolling action to the user. As you probably noticed from the intro of this video, the original design was intended for presentation on iPad device. But similarly to previous examples from this series, the designer never bothered to check native device resolution or guidelines of iOS. I hope that you watched my previous videos from this series. If not, I strongly recommend it. Because what you can notice from them is that a lot of beginners and even more experienced designers for some reason like to ignore details. And when you stack a lot of bad details together, you end up with something which looks like the work of an amateur. I mentioned my video, which will help you to understand and better work with colors. You can watch it here. And if you want to watch other videos from before and after series, you can watch them here. To the next time.